We are at the construction site of the new Milford Middle School here in Milford and we're here to talk about single digit proficiency schools across the state of Delaware. Fortunately, in the Milford School District, we don't have any single digit proficiency schools, but it is a problem statewide, all the way from Wilmington down to Laurel. There's 17 schools that have over 90% of their students either not reading or not performing in math on grade level. So HB 192 deals specifically with single digit proficiency schools and says that they need attention now. We cannot wait any further. These kids are in schools that are failing their community and failing them. So this bill requires that local officials at the school level come up with a local plan and work with the Department of Education and their neighborhoods to create a short and long-term strategy of how to get out of single-digit proficiency. These plans then are required to be brought to the community to get neighborhoods and communities and children and students on board. So at the heart of this bill is making sure that parents in the community are involved in these plans and that really is the cornerstone to turn these schools around, to make sure that there's transparency, accountability, parental involvement, and that students and families are heard through this process. So there's a reason why the bill has a short-term and a long-term plan requirement in it, because long-term, there are systemic things that we need to fix in the school, but we can't forget about the families and the students that are in the schools right now that could possibly have one, two, four, years left in the school, things need to change now for these students on the ground to give them a better future moving forward. This is a statewide challenge that we've seen for a number of years and uh, bipartisanship in the legislature is going to be needed to get this passed. It already passed unanimously in the House of Representatives and it's passed the Senate Education Committee. Uh, so right now we're just waiting for uh, it to be placed on the Senate floor and, and to pass the Senate. And uh, so uh, my call to action is call your state senator and get them on this bill that would help these schools uh, create an action plan to move them forward. I'm very surprised that there's not more of an urgency surrounding these single-digit proficiency schools. I frankly don't know how we have a public school system where over 90% of the kids aren't on grade level. That needs to be fixed immediately, needs to be addressed by the local school officials with help from the Department of Education.